Hello friends, in this video we will learn how to configure static routing on Cisco Packet Tracer. So for the purpose of, of, of uh, demonstration I will take three routers. And I will take uh, three switches as well. Then we will connect three PCs. Now let us connect these networking devices through cables. So for connecting routers I will use crossover cable and for connecting dissimilar devices we will use straight through cable. So since uh, I have run out of uh, fast ethernet ports on this router so I will first of all switch off this uh, router and drag this NM4E ethernet ports and then I will switch it on this router and now we can connect it to this switch via ethernet ports. So this will be our 10.0.0 slash 8 network. This will be 20.0.0 slash 8. This will be 30.0.0.0 slash 8. This will be 40.0.0.0 slash 8 and this will be 50.0.0.0 slash 8 network. Now let us do the IP addressing on these devices. So I will do it very fast. So I will assign IP 10.0.10.0.0.2 to this PC, and my gateway will be 10.0.0.1, and then let us assign IP addresses to this router. Go to the configuration mode by typing config t and then select the interface fa0 slash 1 which is this interface press enter and I will assign it IP address 10.0.0.1 and its subnet mask will be 255.0.0.1 Uh, I mistyped the address so press enter and now shut now this interface has been set to up now I will assign IP address to this fa0 slash 0 interface first of all let's exit and then type int fa0 slash 0 press enter 
and I will assign it IP 20.0.0.1 and its subnet mask will be 255.0.0.0 press enter and no shut Similarly, I will assign IP addresses on this all the interfaces. So, as you can see, we have done the IP addressing of all the networking devices. Now, let us configure static routing on these routers. So, for that purpose, I uh, let's first do static routing on this router. So, for the the command to configure static routing on on a Cisco router is IP route then now you have to type the destination address destination network ID so I am on this router right now and if I have to access this network so the net the 10 network and the 20 network are directly connected to this router so I don't have to configure the IP route for these two networks but since this uh, route this particular router is not connected is not directly connected to this uh, network uh, 30 40 and 50 right so i will have to configure ip routing for these three networks so for that purpose i will type ip route and then i will type the network id of this route which is 30.0.0 and then I will type the subnet mask of this for this network which is 255.0.0.0 and then I will I can do two things I can either enter the IP of the next next hope which is this end of the uh, which is which is the IP of this interface FA0 slash 0 of this router one or i can type the name of the exit interface of this router which is fa0/0 so for the purpose of demonstration i will type the name of the exit interface of this router which is fa0/0 so if this if 
so what this I command actually means is that if you have to go from from this router to this network then exit from this particular interface so now press enter now if uh, now same thing will we will do for this uh, net for the network of this 40 40 network so all we have to do is change this 3 to 4 press enter and we will do the same thing for this for the 50 network so if if uh, if we if we we have to send the packet from road from this router to to the network of 50 then exit from this particular interface so this is the ex this is the command for this static static ip routing now let's just exit and let us do the same thing on this router so go to the configuration mode so this router is directly connected to three networks which is network of 20 30 and 40 so we don't need to configure static ip routing for these three networks instead but uh, this router is not directly connected to the network of 10 and 50 so we will do static routing for these two networks on this router so for that purpose i will again type the static routing command which is ip route and then the network id for this uh, network which is 10.0.0 and its subnet mask 255.0.0 and then if we have to send packet from this router to this network then the packet will have to exit from this interface so i will type the name of this interface which is fa0 slash 0 press enter now again i will type ip route if we have to send packet to this network of 50 then the packet will have to exit from this interface so let me first type the network id of network 50 and its subnet mask and then i will type the exit interface name which is fa0 slash 1 fa0 slash 1 press enter and exit so we have done the ip static ip routing on two routers now let us configure the static ip routing on this last router go to the configuration mode now as you can see this this router is directly connected to two networks which is network of 50 and 40 but this router is not directly connected to the network of 30 20 and 10 so if we have to go if we have to send packet from this router to any of these three networks then the packet will have to exit from this interface which is fa 0 slash 0 so we will use this interface so first of all type the ip route command and then the network id of the destination network which is 10.0.0 and its subnet mask 255.0.0.0 and then the ex then the name of the exit interface which is fa0 slash 0 fa0 slash 0 press enter and we will do the same thing for the network of 20 and this 30 network press enter exit now we we are done with the static ip routing configuration so let me first show you the ip route so for that purpose i will type let us first of all go to the privilege mode so this hash symbol is the indicates that this hash symbol indicates that right now we are in the privilege mode so just type 
शो आई पी शो आई पी राउट सो एज यू कैन सी दिस दिस पर्टिकुलर रूटर इज डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड टू द नेटवर्क ऑफ टेन एंड ट्वेंटी विच इज दिस एज यू कैन सी सी स्टैंड सो कनेक्टेड एंड दिस एस कनेक्ट एंड दिस राउटर इज not directly connected to three networks the network of 30 40 and 50 so we will we have done static ip routing for these three networks on this particular router and as you can see this letter s is written in front of these three networks and s stands for static so you can do the same thing you can check the ip route on all the routers so ip route so as you can see this router this middle router is directly connected to three networks so the network of 20 30 and 40 and it is connected to the network of 10 and 50 via static routing so now if i try to ping from this pc to this pc let us see what happens so the ip of this pc is 50.0.0.2 so ping 50.0.0.2 let us see if we we are getting a response or not audio request stand out request stand out again request time dot again and let us ping enter again so as you can see we have started getting response from this pc similarly we can ping from this pc to this pc let us do the same thing again ping 50.0.2 right now we are pinging from this pc to this pc and as you can see we are getting response so now if we try to ping from this pc to this pc are we able to ping so let's type ping 10.0.2 and as you can see we are getting response so this is how you can configure static routing on on packet tracer I hope you must have got something to learn from this video if you liked this video then don't forget to comment below this video what you liked about the video and what you did not like and subscribe to this channel because I will post more such videos thanks for watching this video